how Brazilian beetles got their gorgeous coats. A South American folk tale retold by Bell Sears. In Brazil, beetles have such beautiful hard coats upon their backs that they are often made into pins and necklaces. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, they had plain brown coats. This story explains how Brazilian beetles got their new coats. One night, a brown beetle was crawling along on a wall when a big gray rat ran out of a hole in the wall and looked down at the little beetle. Oh, he said to the beetle, how slowly you crawl! You'll never get anywhere in the world just to look how fast I can run. The big gray rat ran to the end of the wall and came back to the place where the beetle was slowly crawling along. Don't you wish you could run like me? said the big gray rat to the round beetle. You are surely a fast runner, said the round beetle politely. Her mother had taught her to be polite and always say, said that a really polite beetle never brags about what she can do. She just went on crawling slowly along the wall. A bright green and gold parrot in the mango tree over the wall had been listening to their conversation. How would you like to race with the beetle? He asked the big gray rat. I live next door to the Arara bird, and just to make a race exciting, I'll give a bright new coat as a prize to the one who wins. You may choose any color for it you like. I like a yellow coat with stripes like a tiger. He said the big gray rat, looking over his shoulder as at his plain gray sides as if he were already seeing a new coat there. I'd like a beautiful bright new coat too, said the little brown beetle. The big gray rat laughed until his sides were shaking. You really think you have a chance to win this race, don't you? He said when he could speak. The bright green and gold parrot set a palm tree at the top of the cliff to mark the end of the race. He gave the sign to start and then he flew away to the palm tree to watch the end of the race. The big gray rat ran as fast as he could. Then he started getting tired. What's the use of hurrying, he said to himself. The little brown beetle cannot possibly win. He started to run more slowly, but every time his heart beated, it said, hurry up, hurry up. The big gray rat thought it would be best to listen to the voice in his heart. So he began to hurry as fast as he could. When he had reached the palm tree at the top of the cliff. He could not believe his eyes. He must have been dreaming a bad dream. There was 
the little brown beetle sitting quietly beside the bright green and gold parrot. How did you get there so fast? He asked the little brown beetle as soon as he could catch his breath. The little brown beetle spread it out her tiny wings. Nobody said we had to run, she replied, so I flew instead. I didn't know you could fly, said the big gray rat in a surprised voice. After this, said the parrot, you should never judge anyone by his looks alone. You never can tell where you might find hidden wings. You have lost the prize. To this day, even in Brazil, where the flowers and birds and insects have such beautiful colors, the rat still wears a plain gray coat. The end.